Summer loving had me up a last. So far, so good. It's a hot one today, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Cowboy Seabop channel. Today we're going to talk about a knife. Just a few minutes. It was a treasure. This is a great find. And then I'm going to show you a couple small clips on my trip to uh, Cowtown the other day. It was just me and my ladies. Um, we took a little road trip. We got ants in our pants. Everybody's looking forward to the rodeo. Open it up. Um, July 4th weekend. And uh, we just wanted to just get out there. The, the, they have a, a Cowboy Outfitters store. And they were having some sales. So the ladies wanted to go out and check, check out to see what they can get. Anyway. I had my granddaughter with me too. And it was just a really good day. You know, for Cowboy Seabop to be with, you know... His daughters and his wife and his granddaughter. Um, just a good time. All right. And uh, it's, forgive me, at one point I handed the camera, you know, to my daughter and she turned it sideways. So at one point in the video, <laughs> everybody's going to have to go like this. Ready? Nothing I can do about it. Editor's been on vacation now for about a year and a half, so what can you do? Anyway, so hang in there. Just We're going to do like five minutes on this, and then you can just check out basically the surroundings in uh, Piles Grove, New Jersey. As I said, we go through the hustle and bustle of like this, you know, I call it miniature center city. All this hectic traffic, you cross this bridge, and... Yeah, I know we're in another state, <laughs> but I mean, you're so close to Philly, you, you think you are, you know, way out there. You know, lots of green, lots of green. And of course, we hit the stands with the, uh, the fresh fruit and vegetables. And uh, we stopped for, a, you know, a burger and a shake. We really had a good time. Um, also out there, about five minutes from the, the rodeo arena is a vineyard. And it's just, it's just gorgeous. So we made a quick stop there. And um, we passed, we passed the owner of Cowtown's, uh, where he keeps all the steer and the, and the horses. It's just so beautiful out there, it really is. Of course I didn't get any of that captured on video. After, uh, you know, my daughter had us all sideways. I just, I just kind of gave up at that moment. Plus, my granddaughter was a handful, so it was, it was a little difficult. So it's a quick, just a quick hi, hello. Here it is. Check it out if you're here. You know, some of you might like it. Some of you might go, but who cares? All right, I'll get back out there again. I'll shoot a better video. I'm gonna shoot a bit of the rodeo. You know. See, I'm excited. And I'm just trying to share this with y'all. Speaking of excited, I've been sitting on this baby for too long. Now it's time to use. I was looking at M Tech knives. You guys all seen the video of my M Tech collection, all right? But I didn't have this at that point. I was going crazy for about a year trying to identify this knife by M Tech. I could not believe it was by M Tech. I have a bunch of their knives and they are nowhere near as nice as this. Except maybe the Raptor. All right. So check it out. Model number, it's under the Extreme M Tech line. M Tech Extreme MX8074. We got a 12 and a quarter inch overall knife. A seven and a quarter inch blade five millimeter thick and a five inch black g10 textured handle I'm not a fan of the sheath so 
I would like to upgrade that. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it, but let me tell you something. This knife deserves a much better sheath. I love these textured G10 handles. Look at the thickness of this bad boy. This thing has some weight to it. I even like the notches, you know, they had cut out here, which, which makes me ask, you know, would they consider this a false edge? Hmm. I don't know, but look at this. I wish you guys could feel this. So this just may be my favorite M-Tech knife, the MX8074. But it's not gonna be my favorite. You just can't judge it on looks alone. You gotta test it out a little bit, all right? First, we do our paper test. Let's just try this. Another coupon that I'll never use. That feels good. I believe it's 440 stainless steel. I didn't write it down, and I don't have time to look it up. I believe it's 440. Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, so pretty good on this uh, paper, right? Would you guys agree? How about let's do a little drop test and then we're going to end it with some splashes. All right, come with me. A wella, wella, wella. <clears throat> tell me more, tell me more. All right. Are we in there? All right, let's just do some drop tests. This thing uh, feels pretty darn solid. Get off of there. <laughs> Got a nice bite. A little higher. Can you take me higher this thing is like so solid no there's not going to be any rattling i mean this thing is really on there you know oh that feels good over here now Don't forget, stay with me because I'm going to show you a little bit of Cowtown Rodeo. All right. Everybody having an awesome week? Looking forward to the weekend? All right. Let's see if we can go through this little water bottle here. Like nothing. I'm not gonna try to do that with the big guy. I just wanna uh, check out this tip, all right? Give me a target, give me a target. Yeah, right there. Look at that. Pretty much seals all the water in. Got a little leakage there. Let's finish it off. Guys, this might be my favorite M Tech. It's a hard find. Write down the number. Somebody out there. Is hoarding these. I can't believe really this is by MTech. USA Design.
It's like uh, maybe the miniature raptor. I don't know. You guys remember what that raptor handle's made of? Now I gotta bust it out again. Pity me. Check it. Okay, stay tuned for some uh, little Caltown area tour. It's only a couple minutes. And I um, hope you enjoy. I'll see you again, possibly over the weekend. And uh, as always, <laughs> be safe, everybody. Always. Do, 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 do. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Decided to take a little ride today. Guess where I'm at? I'm at Cowtown Cowboy Outfitters. Decided to take my gals for a ride. It's right outside the arena. We're going to show you that in a little bit. Welcome, y'all. Got your uh, ride ride horse or a mule. <laughs> what is that? Right, check it out. Boots were made for walking, baby. We're preparing for July 4th weekend. There's the front of it. Out here with my ladies today. Let's go inside. Take a quick ganders. Remember. This is Piles Grove, New Jersey. Ready? Yeah, in a second. And look, we got knives. We got knives. Looks like some Damascus. Got all kinds of stuff in here. Anyone need a belt buckle? Men's apparel, women's apparel. We got some vests. We got it's basically everything. Everything. Look at all this stuff. Check out the hats. I think I got plenty of hats. It always use new boots. There's all the ladies apparel, women's boots. You see anything you like? I hear my granddaughter, she's getting impatient. I'll be back in two shakes of a lamb's tail. Check out the big old cowboy. Ah, climb that fence. Yeah, this is my, uh, this is my buddy right outside Cowtown. See, there's the arena over there. God, I love it out here. There he is. I'm with my granddaughter right now. She's in my left arm. Check out this dude. To give you a uh, better perspective. Taylor, the video camera's on. See if you can get me and Jolie in there. I'll get a perspective of us. <laughs> That's a big job. Did you see this? Yeah. You can't get us all in, can you? I can, but can we take a picture?
No, it's still on. All right, just a little cowboy, Cowtown, Piles Grove, New Jersey. Piles Grove, Piles Grove, New Jersey. Just wanted to share this little bit with y'all. All right, getting excited. July 4th, rodeo opens. You guys have a safe and blessed rest of the week and a happy 4th of July weekend. All right, see you guys soon.